Turkey's first Herjet light combat aircraft enters ground testing. Turkey's first Herjet light combat aircraft developed and produced by the Turkish aerospace industries has entered the ground test phase. The new advanced jet trainer and light attack aircraft rolled out to the public and completed the first engine run-up test. Her jet is a single-engine, tandem-seat, supersonic advanced trainer and light combat aircraft designed to replace the Northrop T-38 Talon in the trainer role and supplement the General Dynamics F-16 Fighting Falcon for close air support. Within the project's scope, it is planned to produce two prototypes of flyable aircraft and one static and one fatigue test aircraft to be used in test activities. The light combat aircraft has a length of 13.6 meters, a wingspan of 9.5 meters, a height of 5.1 meters, and a wing area of 35 square meters. Recently, the Defense Industry Executive Committee decided to place the first Herjet order for the Turkish Air Force Command. The Herjet project, initiated with TAI's resources, thus took on the armor of the state. The intended date of service entry for the Herjet is 2023. Turkey will start mass production of the Herjet in 2025, with the first deliveries to the Turkish Air Force Command with an aim to reach two Herjet production capacities per month, according to Turkey's defense industries. The activation of the heart of the plane marks the beginning of the ground tests phase, anticipating the first flight, scheduled for mid-March. Integration, fatigue and structural stress and other evaluations. The aircraft development program began in 2017, with funding from TAI itself. Later, the Brazilian company Akar was selected by the Turkish company to participate in the aircraft project. Akar operates in the detailing the structural design, structural calculation and installation of systems for the rear fuselage, parts of the central fuselage and installation of the Herjet impenage. The biggest challenge on this project was revising the design and having all the documentation for the first prototype released in an extremely challenging time frame. Meeting this challenge was only possible due to the large baggage accumulated in the development of complex aeronautical products for the defense, executive and civil aviation sectors, serving large OEMs such as Embraer and Saab, says Akir's VP of Operations, Ku, Fernando Faraz. Our history of successes in similar programs and a capable team allow us to assume commitments and overcome technical challenges while meeting established schedules.